Hey guys, welcome back to the next uh, video. This time, I'm doing a mid-range PC build. And honestly now, it turned out fantastic. Make sure you continue to watch.
So then guys, what do you think? Now I think the bill looks fantastic, but I'm gonna leave you guys to actually be the judge of that. This is the Cooler Master, Master Box 600. It's one of their newer cases and it is classed the budget case. But what I would say is, this is a very mid-range PC build. It's got an uh, AMD Ryzen uh, 5600G. It's got 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM from Kingston. It's got a 500 gig Kingston Renegade uh, NVMe. It's also got then a one, a two terabyte uh, Keoxia NVMe for backup and storage. And then of course then it's got the RX 7600 XT. And of course it's got a 750 watt power supply from Cooler Master. Of course it's got the Atmos 240 AIO which looks absolutely stunning in this build. And I will say that... It's one of my favourite builds. I have been, I've spent, today would be the Saturday, so I've spent all day Saturday building this and doing all my shots and stuff like that. And I'm really proud of the way the build has come out. The, the airflow in this case is amazing. It's got dust filters in the front, on the top. But of course, it has got a tempered glass side panel. So, let's get this on by here like that and then close it and here we go as the peel for you guys oh here of the case but here three ARGB fans by here let's go one in the back and of course, look at those. They are just amazing. Look how gorgeous that looks. I really like the look of this case. But of course, it's not the case you're wondering about but right now. I bet it's probably the cable management in the back. Now, what I will say for the cable management, it's actually not bad. Um, considering that this is a very budget orientated case, I will say there's actually enough room. But the power supply that Cooler Master did provide has got very thin cables. It's not the normal bulky cables you're used to. So what I will do now is show you. Pull this off. Now I did try with the cable management. As you can see, I've got a cable down, cable tied down. It's got ample room for all your cables at the bottom. Of course, it's 750 watt power supply, which is fully modular. It's got the 12 volt high pin power cable included. So it does support NVIDIA GPUs. As you can see, it's got ground mature. It's even got a controller. By here which of course you can adjust it without just so you if your motherboard hasn't got a rgb you can press the reset button and it changes the colors for you but as you can see the overall cable management is not bad considering and also it's this case is also configured for the cableless motherboards from gigabyte msi there's a lot of brands that are doing that now so as you can see the build it looks absolutely stunning of course it's got ample cable management room at the back and it was a pleasure to build in so make sure you subscribe because i've got another one of these builds coming but this time it is in a small form factor build it's going to be an matx case the case is very small so make sure you subscribe and as always this is richard for well check i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you again in the next one good bye